A former Northeastern University track and field coach arrested today on charges that he tried to trick female student athletes into sending him nude photos. 28 year old Steve Waith was taken into custody today in Chicago, where he currently lives. Now, the coach worked for Northeastern for only a few months before he was fired. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Boston tonight. And Beth, after he was fired, that's when federal investigators got involved. Well, Northeastern was one of the schools that contacted federal authorities with disturbing allegations about Waith. He's accused of setting up phony social media accounts to try to manipulate his female athletes, even cyber stalking one of them. The power dynamics of like a coach to a, an athlete is something that like is often overlooked. But in the case of 28 year old Stephen Waith, it is something a federal investigation has allegedly now uncovered. The former track and field coach at Northeastern University is accused of attempting to trick female athletes into giving him compromising photos, and it has sent shockwaves through the campus. It does sound like he was manipulating them and kind of taking advantage of the fact that he was their coach. Waith, employed for four months at Northeastern, was terminated after an investigation into inappropriate behavior. According to the feds, Waith frequently used female athletes' cell phones, saying he was filming their form at practices and then allegedly scrolling through their photos. He's also accused of contacting the women on Instagram, using screen names like Anon4887 and Privacy Protector, telling them he had found compromising pictures of them online. They say Waith, sometimes using a woman's name, offered to help find and remove the photos, asking one victim to send, quote, pictures of you nude currently that I can use as reference and to help my reverse image search. The fact that someone would, you know, put their athletes, uh, kids who they're kind of supposed to be mentoring and protecting and to use that power as, uh, it's really sad. I hope that uh, the athletes or anyone that he made feel uncomfortable are being supported and um, are okay. According to the feds, at least 300 compromising photos were found in Waith's email accounts. Student Abby Hartzell calls it a disturbing predator culture. This isn't just like a boys being boys thing. This is like it's something that happens too often and is too much part of our culture. And now, Waith, who was employed at at least three other universities, is being held in Chicago now pending another hearing on Friday. He'll be in Boston to face charges at a later date. Reporting live from Northeastern University, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. Beth, thank you.